Hey guys, it's Christy Bentliff, and today I'm talking about how to remove the dreaded stickers that get placed on your car from the dealership um, when they're selling them. So as you can see, we move in a little bit closer. I've got the Passport, which is Passport Mini of Alexandria on this side. It was also on the left side as well above the Mini badge. So what I have done this afternoon is take um, a few moments to remove those. So this is how it was before. And then we come over here to the Mini and you can see that there is no Passport at all showing over here. So what do we do? Um, I ended up having to do a couple of steps. So one was to heat it up with a hair dryer to just kind of make it pliable. And then I used the blue tool that's here on the bumper to kind of, once they got pliable, to lift it up ever so gently until I had removed all of the letters. Um, after that, I used the goof off very sparingly to remove the residue and then cleaned it with 409 then um, soap and water and then I used the speed wax just to shine it up because we don't know how much of that wax product was removed when you're taking it off but as you can see before when you come over to this side which is after and I no longer have the sign uh, for passport so that is one thing I did and then this was my second thing the other thing that the dealerships like to do is advertise by using the mini um, their dealership on the license plate which um, we are going to be removing for the plain very small one and the reason we use that one is in North Carolina uh, where you see the passport lettering they uh, frown upon that because it covers the actual state so um, I have been pulled a couple of times for various reasons uh, because of that. So I just try to keep the plate very simple um, to hold everything together but not have the lettering. So that's pretty much it for this short and sweet video. Um, stay tuned. Got a lot more coming.